Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How does this happen so quickly that Wednesdays come back around? Good morning, Ellen. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Anita. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Laura. How are you guys? Um, I'm excited to paint this morning. I was already in the studio for a little bit earlier um, playing around with my, I'm still working on my, um, my acrylic umbrellas and I'm really having fun, but this has gone through so many, so many changes and iterations, but I'm enjoying the process, which is all that ever matters. Hi, Annie. <clears throat> Hi, Sheila. So, um, I'm going to paint this flower today. I, I think it might be a peony, but I'm not sure. It kind of the leaves look different. Good morning, Donna. Um, but um, my neighbor has it in his yard. I saw it when we were walking for um, ice cream on Mother's Day and um, asked if I could cut some. So I, I'm going to do a little photo shoot today of them too. But they're gorgeous. Here, I'll show you. Hi, Karen. So that's the flower. And if anybody knows, is it a peony? I'm I'm just not sure. It's it's. I don't think peonies are quite blooming yet, uh, unless it's a kind of peony. Like the flowers even look different, but so much about it looks like a peony. So let me know if you guys know what it is. All right. Let's see if I can get this to stay like that. Have you guys been busy? Have you been painting? Barbara it is a peony okay good because I love peonies are my favorite so and there was also a tree peony well Anita it could be because like its stems were like the the stem of the peony itself was short into like a branch that had all kinds of greens coming off of it so it was actually a little challenging to cut it when I got home but um I made a beautiful little I don't even think I put any in my, in my, oh, there's one. That's what I made. That's my little um, uh, bouquet that I made, and I want to photograph it in the sunlight when I get a chance. Um, I think it's a type of peony. Okay, I just painted coral charm peonies, and they look nothing like the traditional ones. Oh, are those the ones that are kind of open in the middle, and they, and the, the inside parts down in. I love them too. And usually I get most of my peonies from Central Market, which is a market here in Lancaster. And because of all this COVID-19 stuff going on, I haven't been to market in forever. So I could be missing peony season, which is heartbreaking. So I've got a, I thought maybe I'd put a note out on Facebook to see if anyone like in my town has some that they wouldn't mind me cutting a few or at least coming and photographing be a good way to get them because every year I wish I would have taken tons more peony photos um I never have enough so I've got to figure I should plant my own bush right that would make sense my peonies too oh here I'm missing your notes oh they bloom earlier okay then that's what that is okay hello to Outer Banks Nothing like the name. Yes, I know. Big house design. Yeah. Outer Banks. How fun. Is it beautiful there? I'm sure it's beautiful there already. It's still like last night we had to cover up all of our garden because it, it got um, really cold last night. But I think we're finally going to have some nice weather coming up. Um, like at the end of the week, I think it's going to get nice. We need some good things happening. Um, and peonies, I don't, you know, I probably said this before, but I'm like afraid to paint, um, roses. I find them to be so, uh, I don't know, intimidating, I guess. But then I find, also find it odd that I don't find peonies intimidating to paint because they're kind of, they look very similar. Maybe it's the formalness of roses. I don't know. I have no idea. It's anybody's guess, but like I love peonies. 
Oh, in Florida, that's beautiful in Florida too. Are you having a nice day, Angelica? I've been to Florida in a long time. Doesn't it sound like fun to go on an adventure and go somewhere? It's like we never realized how fortunate we were to be able to just pick up and go whenever we wanted to, right? You know, at this time of the year, I would never really go much of anywhere anyway, but um, I kind of feel, feel like I need a beach weekend or something. Have you mixed that color you're using right now with other colors? Okay. Oh, rosemary. Um, the light pink is all um, permanent rose. That's one of my favorite, like if I'm doing peonies, permanent rose is that lighter. And then this darker pink that I'm adding over top here to push it back a little where the dark areas are is um, this Block X magenta. So that's all I have on my palette right now. That's my little spot that I'm working from. Okay, there. Hi, Lisa. Um, so I'm just kind of looking for where my dark areas are. Now I'm going to add a little bit of purple in here into these really, really dark spots. So where's everybody from? Do you want to put in the comments where you're from? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. A little town called East Petersburg. I've lived here all of my life, except when I went to college, very briefly. For those four years, I was at Kutztown University, which is north of here, kind of between Reading and Allentown in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Long Island, New York. Where in Long Island? Oh, do I? I know. Do Do I know where you are? Are you in Queens, South Africa? Wow, Rochester Hills, Miss Michigan, North Carolina, Lower Hudson Valley, New York, East Maline, Maline, Illinois. Lovely painting flowers are my favorite. Me too. So I'm working on um, cork. I'm working on a, um, which I probably told you this before, an online painting course of flowers, and I'm hoping to film it soon, like by the end of the month. So I've been working on that a lot lately. A lot to do to create that. It's fun, fun, but it's out of my comfort zone. Indonesia. What time is it in Indonesia? Moline is how you pre Okay, Moline. Um, yeah, what time is it in Indonesia? That's so cool. So neat that we're all here together from all over the place. I'm putting in my greens. <clears throat> in Louisiana. I think I would like to visit Louisiana. Oh. oh, there's another cute little one peeking out underneath there. I think I'm going to add that in. It looks fun. If it goes away, it's okay. I'm working on an online watercolor class, filming myself a bit is uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to be like for me either. I have a very good friend is helping me with all of that. I didn't, I'm just still working on my lesson plans, which is a challenge for me to do because um, I never did that before. Even when I do my in-person classes, I kind of wing it more than 
plan out everything I'm going to do and say. Um, which is probably what's going to happen with the online course too. Hopefully a lot can happen in post-editing because, whoops, where did I get all that pink? I must have picked that up by accident. Um, but I'm excited to try it. Especially since now I'm switching my um, class that I had planned for the end of, the, of May. I think I'm going to try and switch it to August or um, September. I think August would be a good time to do it. So that's kind of on my list to do this week to figure out a different date and um, change all of that. Because I definitely want to still have it. That looks pretty. Um, okay. So I'm going to clean up my palette here. I just, these are my, that's all I was working from, my greens. And and I have it mixed with my zest, it, my uh, medium that I use. And I only use it in that base layer unless I'm, you know, working on a big painting or if I have a paint that's really dry. Let's clean that up. And now I'm going to get out my, yeah, I hope August works, Anita. I sure hope so. Whoops, sorry. This little thing just wiggles the way it wants to. <laughs> oh, well, that's all I can do. I guess I can push this back a little bit. All right. So I'm getting out a few of my pigment sticks. Kind of use the same colors. That's what for my class I was trying to figure out which colors I need um, to have people get. So much to think about. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. It's fun, isn't it? Jalisha. Jalisha, hello. <clears throat> oh, right now I'm using some, they're called Arnif pigment sticks. And I always kind of do them in my second layer. I feel like it kind of loosens up my painting a little bit and it gives me kind of a creamy base to work into when I go and put paint in over top. They're really fun. And I just get them from Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama. I just ordered myself a few new ones. Ordering art supplies is just the most fun. It's dangerously fun. Maybe it's a good thing that I can't get to an art store anymore. <laughs> oh, right now it's, oh, instead of a brush. Yeah, the, these are RNF pigment sticks. And then I'll... Um, go in with a brush next. They just kind of, they're creamy. And they're actually oil paint, so they take a while to dry, just like oil paint does. But it's fun to draw in there. Do pigment sticks dry? Oh, out if you don't use them. Uh, no, you know what? They get a, a film over the top. That's a good question. Um, and they get kind of crunchy on the outside, and sometimes I have to wipe them off. So one of these that will probably happen with as I'm going here, and I'll show you. Um, yeah, I used to try and put them all back in their tubes, but I haven't been bothering with that lately. Um, green. So if the if it gets dry on top, I just take this and wipe it off. 
Can you tell me about that tool you use to scrape your palette? Oh, yeah, this is just like from Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just a like a paint scraper you get in the paint aisle. I get it all messed up, but I love it. I have two of them because I use one to clean the other when they get too clunked up. So yeah, it's really cheap and just get it at the hardware store. Are you guys painting today? What's everybody working on? Anything fun and exciting? You're welcome. Do you ever use the pigment sticks alone to paint a painting? I always want to do that. I always use it in addition to a painting and I really do want to try having a painting just be done with pigment sticks. I just haven't done it yet. Do you feel like I, me? I feel like I have a million things I want to create and you know, there's just not enough time in the day, which manifests that. I shouldn't even say that. There are enough hours in the day. And I will get to that because I would love to try that. I think it would be really fun. Oops, I was going to put that back in the tube. This is what the tubes look like that they come in. So if I have it here, I'll just put it back in. And they have little lids that I don't, may or may not remember to put on. Oh, here's a little lid. It comes with these cute little lids. And that way it's sealed in there. It stays more wet. Lakescapes. Oh, how fun, Karen. Do you live right near the lake? What? Oh, Small Cup Design says I have a commission piece I'm painting of a lake house. It puts me there when I want to paint. Oh, that's fun. Serenity. How nice. Pam says just put together my new easel. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's so fun. I would love that. Yeah, I need like a legit easel. Mine's kind of clunky, but I don't have a big space for it anyway. When I have a bigger studio, I'll be able to. Dog, a dogwood branch. Oh, that's fun, Lisa. I love the dogwoods right now. I love painting whatever's... Um, blooming and now that I've been walking every day I feel like I've witnessed spring happen more than I ever have in my life because I'm not sitting at a computer all day long still most of the day but not the whole day <laughs> it's fun right no oh, thanks Karen so Karen do you live right near the lake Oh, what colors are those sticks? Um, I used Thalo Green Pale is a favorite of mine. And this one I love too, but I don't know what color it is. I used it up all the way to the end, but I think I ordered one, so I should know soon. I was figuring this all out for my course. And then I love this too. This is Warm Rose. That's a really pretty one. And then, of course, that bright green is so sexy, isn't it? That's um, cadmium green. Love that color. Pink and green are just magic together. Your painting is coming out gorgeous. I jumped in late. What brand of oil sticks? There are enough pigment sticks that I was just using. Now I put my medium away, and I'm going to mix colors. Let me turn you over here. Sue, thank you. Sue said I make painting look easy. It is with lots of practice, but oh my gosh, it's so fun. Someone said to me yesterday when I was photographing these flowers, some, my friend said to me, is it hard to get into that zone of like that creative space where, where you're, you know, in that creative mode? And out, out of the analytical or what, into the creative. And I said, I think I'm the complete opposite. I think I'm always in the creative space of my brain. But I have a really hard time getting into the analytical side. Like, I sometimes I forget things. I forget words. Like, it's terrible. But, like, I... Um, the creative part, I can do it pretty much 
Anytime. Well, not when I'm really tired. Never mind. That's not true. I can't do it when I'm really tired. It takes a lot. It, I, sometimes I feel like creating art is, um, you know, it's kind of like you don't think a lot when you're doing it, but I can't do it when I'm tired. So obviously I think you must use your thinking just differently. You, like you don't notice the process of all the thinking going on. I don't. Because I try to listen to my intuition and let things happen and not overthink things. But that's all sort of a game too, isn't it? Oh, I need just a, I need that to go a little purple. Add, I have this purple from yesterday. I don't even remember what I painted yesterday. Maybe it was the day before. Hmm. Oh, I did a I did a landscape yesterday. And then I was working on another one of my fun little um, acrylic. I'll show it to you. Oh, this is oil paint. I was playing with this. It's nowhere near finished. But I like working on these little fun little acrylics sometimes too. I like the textures and and it dries really quickly. It's a, um, gosh, what are they called? Not terrible. See, I forget my, I forget what I'm talking about. Um, poppy. It's my friend's poppy. She's going to have poppies blooming in her beautiful yard soon. So she's going to let me know when I can come take photos. That I'm very excited. So um, these are like purples, pinks and purples. And if you look in here, like there's a lot of like purple. See how closely that matches with those colors in there? So I think that's a good start, but I need some greens too. So I'm going to clean my palette knife off and make a few greens, a dark, dark green. Um, I'm not being very conscious of my palette here. Getting a little messy. Put a little purple in there. Greens. I always need more green than I think I will. Green goes away so quickly, it gets used up quickly. Pretty colors. I love these colors. I think that's why I love flowers so much. I think I just love pink lately. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, I think that's good to start. Oh, did you ask any questions? Um, is it okay to leave the painting the way it is now? And do you seal it? It is okay to leave it the way it is now. Yep. Um, and I would let it dry like for four, four or six weeks just to be safe. And then I um, often, oh, right here it is, I either put a little sp spray of this Blair varnish on there, or sometimes I use, um, the, I think it's called Demar varnish. Or, I can't remember. It's like a wet varnish that you brush on, but that's something I'm still, still learning about varnishing. So what's everybody having this morning, coffee or tea? Or are you past that? 
my neighbor brought me the other day a coffee and it, she said it was called nitro that she made it in some coffee maker thing that they have and boy was that good it was like a treat like the word nitro doesn't make it sound very appealing not to me anyway it sounds like it's chemicals but it was really good it's making me want one huh I do get my fair share of Starbucks now and then my daughter likes to go there. So sometimes I don't have the willpower to say I don't want anything. I always try. You know, it's harder to, I don't know, it's not harder to eat right being quarantined because, you know, we don't have much junk food in the house, but somehow I still end up finding calories. Oh, my third cup of black coffee been up since 5.30. I, I got up at 6. I was awake at 5.30, but I didn't get out of bed until 6. Um, so I'm only on my first cup, but I usually only have one. Although right now, I always say the day I paint, I should get to have a second one because I think that keeps my energy levels up. Mm -hmm. strong and hot and then ice water the rest of the day that's sue me too same and sometimes if i have a little coffee left in here i'll put the ice right in in whatever coffee's left and drink cold drink it cold all right so i'm thinking about where my dark areas are and there's some bright right here i'm gonna put this Oh, that probably didn't go bright. So I'm going to think of how to keep this kind of dimensional. So we brought all of our um, plants in last night. So I've got to go uncover the garden and... Put the pot, potted plants back outside. Hopefully that's the last time. Milk ginger tea. Oh, that sounds really good. She likes unsweet nice tea all day and all seasons. That's nice. It's easy. Do you make it yourself or do you get it from the grocery? Love the leaf textures. Thank you. And I want to kind of keep this loose in the background. Like, I don't want to get too detailed with that. <clears throat> Hi, Phyllis. Thank you. Phyllis has a great group. Um, and Phyllis, remind me what it's called. Put your um, the link to your... Uh, page in here for anyone who doesn't know about it. Um, I met Phyllis. We did, they did a trip here to Lancaster and toured um, Primitives by Kathy. And it was a group of licensing artists that were all on a trip together. And what a fun group of people. <clears throat> I loved it. And they do a trip every year and you learn about art licensing and hang out with other artists, like how fun. I right? hope to do that one of these days, join them. So they were in Lancaster, so I went and met them and um, really enjoyed the experience. nice. I like when you make a brush stroke and it kind of just works. That. Okay. I want to push this back a little bit in here.
Care Bear. Thank you. Oh, I want to put a little pink in here. And I think I don't have any paint over here at the edge. I definitely want paint there. And I love when little bits of like my um, pigment sticks show through. Are you near Lancaster? My daughter played in Mannheim for USA field hockey and I'm in Boston. Oh yeah. Now I'm literally um, the next town from Mannheim. Like probably eight minutes from Mannheim. Oh, so she, she was at Spooky Nook, right? My daughter used to work there. Oh, that's really close to my house. Like, there's the trail. Were you at the trail behind um, Spooky Nook? There's like a rail trail behind there. And you might see, if you ever see my stories, that's where I go walking a lot. Oh, that's super close. And I know the field, the field hockey's not there anymore, is it? Yep, yeah, I'm really, really close. Like the blink of an eye from there. Yeah, my daughter Isabel worked at the snack bar there for several months. Play soccer? It's, oh, really? Yep, I'm right near Spooky Nook. Laura, where do you live? All right. So now I think I can dive into the flower a little bit more. Oh, I should probably turn. I feel like I hear the radio. Let me turn it down a little bit. Sorry. Whenever I start doing this in the morning, I feel like the, the music's like I can barely hear it. And then as I sit here, it gets louder and louder. She said, I walk there next to the cows. That's where I take cow pictures. Yes, that's still there. They didn't make it to the Olympic. Oh, is it still there? I walk around Lidditz and look at, oh, I love Lidditz. It's so cute. I know you were not asked, but I'm in Joplin, Missouri. Nice. Yes, I was asking everybody. Where they're from, Joplin, Missouri. Very fun. Now this is that kind of challenge of getting detail in there, but not so much that that it gets too busy. Like I don't want to paint each petal. I just kind of want to look for shapes of dark, squint at it a little bit. And then when I have enough darks in there, then I can go back in and um, add in um, all the light areas. And it takes a lot of patience, at least for me, because I have none, um, to wait to put in like those colors, the light colors, because um, it kind of really finishes it off when it happens. But if I do it too soon... Um, I don't know, somehow it doesn't flow the same. I can't even explain it. Like it's better to hold off to do some of that till the very end. Um, I've done artisan shows at Supply too a few years ago. I'm at 30 minutes from Kutztown. Oh, oh I see, okay, yep, I went to Kutztown. That's where I went to college. Laura, did you? Such a different color from the photo. Yeah, I try not to be too literal with colors, but I think when I go in with my lighter colors on top, I think it'll look a little more realistic. Like I'm <clears throat> really putting in the darks. And I think I'm soon happy with that. Well, now I can't hear the radio at all. I love to have music on when I'm painting. I 
All right, check away with some lights now. What is it, 9.35? Okay. <clears throat> It was funny, my friend was at the, her neighbor's house. I wrote to her, what color is the lavender? Oh, do you see that here? Oh, right here, yeah, you do. That is ruby violet light. Isn't that pretty? I got like the, somebody help me. Um, what did I buy from the Vasari colors? It was like the Impressionist collection or something. And it had, like this is um, Rosebud. I'm using that right now. I love these Vasari paints, but they're, they're like really um you have to buy a hundred dollars worth that's brilliant lemon brilliant lemon light and i love this brilliant yellow light and of course this is one of my favorites video blue extra pale so i have them all they're kind of like my mixing colors your towns in pa have cute funny names <laughs> oh yeah they do a lot of crazy ones like intercourse and bird in hand and kind of all little like Funny Amish Downs. Perfect for a t-shirt, right? And Lidditz is a funny name, too. Lidditz is so charming. That's the next town over, too. We're kind of near Mannheim and Lidditz. And Lancaster to the Impressionist collection. Thanks, Anita. It's it's just gorgeous. All these um, Vasari paints, I love them. trying to think of where I am here with all of this. I think this needs to... It's kind of fun swoosh there. Um, bird in hand. Oh, the candle barn. I don't know if I've ever even been there. I've been to bird in hand plenty of times, but I don't know if I've ever been to the candle barn. You know how it is when things are right near you. You never get there. Like, for me to get in the car and drive to Burden Hand is very unlikely. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to put in some swooshes of color that are bright light. The Amish present still thriving. I love visiting it. Oh, absolutely, yes. Amish is are thriving in Lancaster. Yeah. yeah. And I think they're doing okay. I haven't heard any statistics of how this is all affecting them. Actually, it's a good question. I'm wondering. I did see them all going, like a bunch of them in a, a van the other day, going to work, so... Um, you know, they still have to have business as usual, too. I'm sorry. Oops, I got two paper towels. I still have too many. Sorry. Okay. Let me see here. I need a little bit more of my video blue extra pale here. Okay. I 
And let me know if you have any questions or anything. I always say when I get to this point where I'm like kind of dancing around doing these, this part of the painting, I often hold my breath because I don't know why I hold my breath, but I catch myself doing it. It's not like I'm finding it stressful or anything. I think I'm just thinking really hard. Do you guys ever feel like that? Holding your breath when you shouldn't be. I think I'm happy with that one. Confidence and stroke. Oh, thank you. I think that confidence is the hardest part and the most important part. Both at the same time. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Enjoying the demo. I love the process of doing it and watching it all kind of come to life. It's magical. Even to me, I feel like it's magical. Like, there's always a point in the painting where I think that it's never going to turn out. And it almost always does. You always seem to make a painting look more beautiful than the photo. Thank you. That is the goal. To take what you see and make it even better. Um, that is the goal. Like my friend said, I could come sit at his house and, and actually paint from life, which sounds so fun, but I don't see that happening. But you never know. Maybe this weekend I'll find myself with free time. And go do something like that. I would love it. Um, I'm not happy with that. I want to... Did your daughter love the pupping? Oh, yeah, she did. She loved it. Yeah. She um, was here this weekend, and she saw it in person and really liked it. Such a cute little pup, too. So for people who didn't see, I painted um, a puppy a German Shepherd last week as my demo. And it's on my YouTube. I have a YouTube channel that you guys can, um, if you want to see any other demos, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. And if you do go there, please subscribe because I'm trying to get my uh, subscription up a little bit because I hear you can do like your demos there um, when you have enough viewers. Uh, I don't, I guess the benefit is that you don't have to finish in an hour um, and I don't know what the other benefits are to doing it that way, but I heard someone talking about it, but well, I should try and work on that. I'm at like 800 right now, I think close to 800. <clears throat> oh, 
all these things to learn about. All right, and more light whites. Getting there. Oh, YouTube, the viewer can watch it larger. Oh, that's true, Ellen. That's true. Well, go go follow me over there so I get my viewers up for that. Please. I would love that. Yeah, so all my videos are... Most of them. Like last week, I think I had... It, uh, my daughter Isabel was filming and we had Emily pop in and with the dog and then I couldn't save the video I don't know if I told you guys that I don't know if anybody was trying to see it afterwards but you know it stays here on Instagram I always think about doing this in um, Facebook too what do you think is it too red in there Oh, you are. Thank you, Ellen. Um, I'm thinking if I need to. Uh, what time is it? Nine forty-eight. I'm kind of perfect on time. Because I still have to go in and do the center of the flowers there too. It's too red in there. I'm going to make this a little more neutral in here. I like little bits of that red popping through, but not too much of it. Um, so do you, if you use AirPlay on your TV, you can also view anything showing your phone. Yeah, I'm so bad at that. My husband does, he can make that happen, but I'm not. Much as I am on a computer all day long, there's still so much about technology. It's not intuitive to me. I guess that's what it is. Like I use computer programs like, you know, InDesign, and Photoshop all day long. But if you ask me to hook the TV up, and I watch so little TV that I actually am really bad at even changing channels. Like I don't understand the difference between all the different um, things, you know, if, if you're wanting to watch. You know what I mean. I can't even think of what it is. You know, the different things that aren't TV. The, like Netflix. Like, I don't even know how to do any of that. That's crazy. But there's so many choices now. And I'll just turn the TV on. I sound old-fashioned saying that, but I don't really need that many options. Okay, let me see if I can do a little bit of the... Now, I've done this entire painting with one paintbrush. No, no, I didn't. That's not right. I used, I'm in my, using my little one. I did not do what I did with two. So I will do my best to save this um, 
and post it in on my website and on YouTube today. Any spots that I missed? Too many choices with technology. I know, it is mind-boggling. Hi, Emily. Good morning. <clears throat> Emily, E.M. X. Smith is the one who has the puppy. Oh, good, Sue. I see you just subscribed to my channel. Thank you. That's too funny. That popped up on my above my screen there. Did you see that? Because I know you're on here. That's so fun. What do you think? Am I finished? Does it need anything else? I'm looking at it from the perspective of what you're seeing it. I think I need this to go a little lighter down here. I think it looks a little dark. says this is gorgeous I love the glow of the peonies me too Anita I'm so happy that it's peony season and I know you're like I'm should paint my peonies ahead of time so that they're dry and I could ship them to people right away but somehow I just can't get myself there because I want to paint them when I see them Because I never want it to look exactly like it. I want it to have its own personality and um, not be too literal. I see a tiny little thing in here. I think I'm going to sign it because I feel like I'm fussing around and I'm not making progress. So I think I'm finished. I have to hold my hand steady. And I'll show it to you up close. Oh, there is my reference. My painting. And my palette. And thanks for coming and hanging out with me, guys. It was fun. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks, Laura. Um, and I'll see you again next week. I'll post it here and um, over there and pass along to anybody you think would enjoy it. Um, thanks for coming. Bye. Thank you, Karen. Goodbye, guys. Have a great day.